Hello everyone, let's experiment with some dye ink pads. Now most people know the um, Tim Holtz, the, the Distress inks, but Adirondack also does the dye inks and it works with those as well. So that you have some choices and some different um, brands. Um, of course there's probably other ones too, but those are the, the ones that I have, so those are the ones I'm going to use. So the first thing that I want to say is for most of these techniques I use a water mister. Um, I use a water mister for a lot of stuff and if you don't have one I would recommend getting one. I am not one to tell you to go get something but um, water misters uh, they do I, I work with those a lot. This one I use just for water and it is actually a body splash, a body spray that I got at the dollar store. It works perfectly fine for what I'm doing with it. Um, don't get uh, a regular spray bottle. The, it doesn't do a fine mist. Um, it'll just leave water droplets and, and it won't do the same kind of thing. So um, don't use one of those. Um, it's the water mister and I will show you why. Um, I have um, a craft mat underneath. Now, I don't have the really nice craft mat. I have the cheap craft mat because this is the only one that I could find in the craft stores. I don't shop online, so I'm not able to get a nice craft sheet, but this works just as well. You want something plastic. Um, you can get these, um, and this has paint all over it, um, acrylic, well, plastic sheets. You can get those, at, get it in the fabric department in Joann's. Um, I don't know exactly what they use it for. Um, it comes in different weights. Um, I use this as well. It works just as, as well. You just need some kind of plastic to do this kind of thing with. So, that being said, let's start. Um, one of the things I do like doing, one of the main things I like doing, is putting a little bit of ink on my pad and spritzing it with my mister and just adding color. Um, I like to burnish it with something flat. That's not usually the stamp I use, but um, if I use my hands, then yeah, I've got my hand print in it. So you get the idea pressing it into the fibers is good. You can also not press it. Do it on the edge so we can see. And it kind of drips, which is fun too. Depends on what you're looking for. So um, that is one way to get some color on paper. Another thing that I like to do is stamp with it. You missed it like that. I probably should use a different color. And then put your stamp pad in there and stamp with it. You don't get uh, a really good copy and I have other colors on this stamp so it's kind of purplish. But um, as the recovering perfectionist that I am, I am learning to enjoy the little accidents and everything not being absolutely perfect. So I like the wetness that 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 creates. Now let me use a different color and give you another thing you can do here. You can ink your stamp pad and stamp get a pretty clear image but if you miss that image it starts to it reacts with the water and it starts to do some fun things. You never know exactly what it's going to do um, so it's, all, uh, it's kind of fun to watch and see what happens. Add a little more water and it'll do some, well I guess it's done doing its fun thing. You can spray the paper first and then stamp into it. That gives you a different effect again. So this is playing. You can also ink up your stamp pad 
and spritz the stamp to get various degrees of runniness and you can always tilt your paper and watch the inks move if you get them really wet it's kind of interesting to see what kind of things you can can do so those are a few things to do um, let me put that away another thing that I like to ink and play with are fun foams um, this is a pack that I got on sale. It had six different patterns to it. I've only used two. The zigzag thingy here is my absolute favorite. I just love this one. So what I do is I ink it like I would anything else. And you I can actually just stamp it that way. And you get that clear clear lines or you can stamp it or ink it spritz it a little bit not too much and do it again and this time your lines are a little bit fuzzier well they're not quite so fuzzy I guess I didn't spritz it enough let's try a different color let's try a real different color a lot of ink on that spritz it up and you can kind of see the water driplets there and you can see how it's well yeah you can see here how it's um, moving with the water so it's not as clear and it makes a really interesting effect let me try it again over here where you can maybe see it well it didn't move very well so spritzing it you can see it actually starts um, and I don't know what the word is for it but it starts to um, the lines aren't as crisp now there's a lot of ink still left on here and what I like to do is keep spritzing it until it drips and I don't like to waste anything so I do that a lot and I will let that just dry all by itself and it usually comes up with some pretty neat pretty neat um, effects so and I keep stamping until I can't stamp anymore so that is another thing you can do let me get these out of the way so they can start drying okay what else is on my list here there's another technique that's out there right now in this piece of paper and it is called let me wipe this up ink smooshing very technical it seems to be all the rage right now there's a bunch of videos on YouTube if you uh, search for ink smooshing this is what you're going to come up with you get a this is a it's just a clear piece of plastic it is a piece of packaging that came I don't even know what came inside of it but it was the cover so that you could see what was inside um, this is what we do take a little bit of the ink and smoosh it right on there spritz it with some water I'm going to spritz it twice and what you do is you turn it around and get it towards your paper and you can see exactly where it goes on your paper and then you smoosh it to the paper that one I got quite a bit of water to so it's doing a lot of different stuff as it dries it kinda gets some hard edges if you want it not to be to be a little darker to be a little smooshier just spritz it a little bit 
it'll give you hard lines when you smoosh so it gives you different effects I think I must have too much water on this I should have wiped off my my smoosher as well try it again you can start to see some of the harder lines with a little less water do it up here but it gives you some interesting effects you start adding different colors um, you can add um, you can they kind of um, work on top of each other you can see where you're placing the color it's kind of unpredictable which I kinda like but it really does end up with a really interesting effect so that is a great one to experiment with um, yeah I've been having a lot of fun smooshing stuff a little bit of purple and I do like the way that the colors don't blend a lot they do a little bit but you can kind of choose where you put stuff so that's another one um, and another one I wanted to talk about was stenciling with these inks what I like to do is I like to get my stencil out there and usually the stencil is raised enough so that you can't just press the ink pad through it what I like to do is put ink on the stencil itself and take a <laughs> I didn't moisten my brush take a moist brush and brush it off the stencil you're not going to get a really crisp line and you're going to get some of that color going underneath the stencil a little bit but I really like the way um, it distorts and adds a little bit of interest so that is one way to do that um, did I do all of it? Is that as fast? we did that pretty fast oh there's one more um, Well, here I just wanted to show you uh, one of the dried smooshings that I had done it turns out pretty cool after the fact and also um, when you do something like that and add just plain droplets of water um, it distorts also and it doesn't do it right away I had done this uh, late last night and had just dropped some water on and it really didn't do a whole lot and then I just walked away and this morning I came back and there was all these water droplets and I just love the effect that it did another thing that you can do is let me use a different color um, one that I haven't used yet this is acrylic ink on the bottom it's all dry um, and I'm going to smoosh some ink right there on top of it and I am going to add spritz some water on top, top of it the acrylic paint acts as kind of a resist so the paint or the inks when they're all nice and wet they will actually move and you can make the paint drips go kind of where you want them to go and it is an unexpected kind of thing and I let the ink go someplace and then I let it dry naturally and you get some interesting effects that way so that's the beginning of some distress ink fun hope you enjoy